Calyx OS, meet the Pixel 6. So as you guessed from that classy intro, today I will be demonstrating how to install Calyx OS on the Pixel 6. These steps will also work on the Pixel 6 Pro, but you will have to click a different link and I'll point out in the video where you need to do that. It is worth noting that if you do follow these steps, all data on your phone will be erased, so please take a backup before we begin. So the first thing we want to do is open up our browser on our computer and head on over to calyxos.org. Once you get here, go ahead and click on Get Calyx OS. I will leave links down below in the description to every site mentioned in this video, so if you don't want to type it out, you can go ahead and just click those. So on this next screen, we want to install it on our phone, so click Install. So as I mentioned earlier, these steps will work on the 6 Pro and the 6. So if you have the Pro, click the first link. If you have the regular 6, click the second one. So the steps do vary a little bit depending on which OS you're installing from. I'm going to be demonstrating this from a Mac OS machine, but if you're doing this from Windows or Linux, click the corresponding link. There are a few extra steps you need to do if you are in Windows or Linux, but the instructions are very clear and they give you step by step what you need to do. The first few changes we're going to be making all take place on our phone, so those will all be the same no matter which instructions you're following. So like I mentioned, I'm on Mac OS, so I'm going to click Install for Mac OS. If we scroll down here, uh, so terminology, this just gives an overview of what all the terms mean in the guide. Go ahead and read those over, I will not be reading them to you. And on the next part we have prepare your Android device. So the first step on here is to enable developer options. So to do that we need to go into settings, so swipe up, go to settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom, click about phone, scroll all the way to the bottom again, and then tap on build number seven times. Once you see you are now a developer, that setting has now been enabled. So the next step is to enable USB debugging, hit the back button, select system. At the bottom, you now see developer options, select that. Scroll down. We have USB debugging, go ahead and enable that. This is just a warning that this is for development purposes only. Go ahead and click OK. And now the last step is to enable OEM unlocking. So you can see here the quick warning, the step might fail if there's no internet connection. The reason for that is that this is anti-theft protection, so if the IMEI is marked as stolen, you cannot enable OEM unlocking and install a different OS. The other reason you might not be able to enable OEM unlocking is if you have a Verizon-based Pixel. For some reason, Verizon encrypts their bootloaders, which does not allow you to install an alternate OS on the device. Your only option at this point is to sell it. I know from personal experience, I tried to find ways to bypass it but nothing exists at this current time. So now with that out of the way, we can go ahead and enable OEM unlocking. You will see this warning that this is a device protection feature. Go ahead and click enable. And now our phone is ready to begin the installation process of Calyx OS. So we are in the Mac OS instructions, so this is just a quick disclaimer about Mac OS. Um, you're gonna see shortly where Gatekeeper does block the install of Calyx OS, but I'll show you a quick way to allow that so we can proceed. So there's a note here that installation from M1 Max is currently not supported. So I am demonstrating this on an M1 Mac, and I will say that I did test this before making this video, and it does work. But if you do run into any issues, this could be why. So the next step is to download Device Flasher. And you can see the note here about saving this executable to a new directory. So we need to make sure we do that. Go ahead and click the download button. I'm going to place this in my downloads folder. Create a new folder. Name it whatever you want. Click create, and then click save. It's a small file, so it should download fairly quickly. So this next step to verify the digest is optional, but I would suggest you do this. This just verifies that the file we downloaded is not corrupted or the incorrect file. So in order to do that, go ahead and open up Terminal. And if you've never used Terminal before, I'm going to walk through it step by step what you need to type. So you should be able to do this. So the first thing we need to do is actually go to our folder where the download is. So if you type PWD, which means print working directory. We can see our current folder is our user and then our username. Now to get to our downloads folder, we need to do CD. You can start typing downloads or DOWN and hit tab, hit enter. Type LS, that just lists the files in the directory. And we can see here the folder Calyx OS. That's the one we created earlier. So CD, Calyx OS, enter. I'm going to type clear just to clear out the terminal. Now if we type ls one more time, here's that device flasher.darwin. So type out sha sum, just like the command says above, dash a 256. 
the file name, hit tab to autocomplete, hit enter. And we can see here the string matches the string that's output on our screen. So what that confirms is that we downloaded the exact file, it's not the incorrect file, and it is not corrupted at all. So now that we have the device flasher downloaded, the next step is to download the factory image. So click on download. You should be in that same Calyx OS folder you created earlier. Go ahead and click save. This one is 1.6 gigabytes, so this will take a little bit longer to download depending on your internet connection. It is worth mentioning here that this image will only work on the Pixel 6, so if you have the Pixel 6 Pro and you don't see that here, go back and click the other link. There's also a warning here, any attempt to install this image on a different device model may brick or destroy the Android device. So make sure you're downloading the correct one. So once the download completes, we do have the optional step again of verifying the digest. So to do that, open up terminal. You should still be in the same folder, so there's no need to change directories. So again, we're gonna type sha sum, dash a 256. Start typing the name of the file and hit tab and then hit enter. This is a larger file, so it does take a little bit longer for that to calculate. So that took about 45 seconds to complete, but we can see that the output matches what's listed on calyxos.org. So the last optional step is to verify the image signature. I'm not going to demonstrate that in this video because it requires you to install additional software on your machine. But if you do want to complete that, they have the instructions listed if you follow this link. So congratulations if you made it this far. We are now ready to install Calyx OS on our Pixel 6. Screen recording is not supported during the install process, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch my main camera to the phone screen so you can see exactly what's going on. And we're back. So step one is connect the USB cable between the computer and the Android device. So go ahead and connect your USB cable. You're gonna see this pop up about allow USB debugging. Select always allow from this computer and then select allow. Step number two is to run device flasher. So we need to open a terminal and change to the directory with the firmware image. Go ahead and open terminal. And like the instructions mentioned, we need to change the directory. So for that, CD, downloads, hit tab to autocomplete, Calyx OS, again, hit tab to autocomplete. Once you get here, type ls to confirm you're in the correct directory. We can see the device flasher and we can see the .zip, which is the image we're gonna be flashing to our phone. So the first part is to chmod plus x. Start typing device flasher and hit tab to autocomplete. So what chmod plus x does is it makes it so that this file device flasher is executable and which will then allow us to run it afterwards. So hit enter. And then next is to type dot forward slash device flasher. Dot forward slash device flasher. Again, hit tab to autocomplete. Hit enter. So this is what was mentioned earlier with gatekeeper and more than likely you will see this on your machine this morning. The only option we have is to move to trash. We obviously don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and click cancel. What we want to do is open up system preferences. And inside of here, go ahead and click on security and privacy. On the general tab, you should see device flasher.darwin was blocked because it's not from an identified developer. We want to allow this, so click allow anyway. That's all we had to do in there. Go ahead and quit system preferences. Now hit the up arrow on your keyboard to go back to the previous command. Let's run this again. Hit enter. Again, we have the same warning as earlier, but we now have the option to open it. So go ahead and click open. You can see it's extracting the .zip. And this is just a quick reminder about all the previous steps we already took. Enable developer options, enable USB debugging, enable OEM unlocking. All that's completed. Once you confirm you've done all that, go ahead and click enter. We can see here the zip file was detected and then our device was detected as well. If you don't see a device listed here, then try reconnecting your USB to your machine. But as long as you see your device listed here, then we're good to go. Again, hit enter. We can see the screen changed on our phone and the process will begin. So we now have a prompt on the screen. Please use the volume and power keys on the device to unlock the bootloader. We can also see the same instructions on calyxos.org. So for that, you need to hit the volume up or down on your phone. You'll see the prompt change to unlock the bootloader. And once you see that, press the power button to select it. We can now see the device state down below change to unlocked, so that means we were successful.
So now the install has completed, we can see again, please use the volume of power keys on the device to lock the bootloader. So hit the volume up or down until it changes to lock the bootloader. Press the power button. And you should now see device state locked. There's a couple other settings we need to verify. So let's boot up the phone and take a look. So once your phone boots up, go ahead and click start. Select your language. Change the time if you need to. I don't have a SIM card in this phone. You probably do. I'm going to skip connecting to Wi-Fi for now. Location services, disable or leave them enabled. Fingerprint, you should set this up, but I'm going to skip it. Again, pin code, you should set this up, but I'm going to skip it. This next option lets you enable Micro G. This is the open source Google services compatibility that comes bundled with Calyx OS. If you installed Calyx OS, you should leave this enabled. I don't see a reason to disable it. If you're installing Calyx OS, then more than likely you're using it because it has this bundled with it. So go ahead and leave that enabled. Click next. This next screen gives you some optional additional apps to install. I'm going to skip all of these for now, but at the very least, I would suggest you install Aurora Store. Once you make your selection, scroll down to the bottom, click next. I don't have any apps or data to restore, but if you had a backup, you can go ahead and restore it now. And then click start. So now that we're at the home screen, like I mentioned, there's a couple settings we have to verify. So go ahead and swipe up, go into settings, scroll down to about phone, select about phone, scroll down to the bottom, tap build number seven times until you see you are now a developer. Click back, go into system, select developer options. And we want to confirm OEM unlocking is disabled and we want to confirm USB debugging is disabled. Once you confirm that, disable developer options, click back, and you are all set to start using Calyx OS.